Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you how to cast off now. I think you were a lot closer there. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. So you basically do it just like knitting. You knit one, and you knit another one. Remember every other rectangle, and then you pull the first one over the top of your last stitch, just as in knitting. Same thing, just uh, one over the top of the other one, all the way to the end. And I think I told you on the phone I had a, a, a didn't know exactly what to do with the last one, because, of course, rather than just one strand of yarn, you've got all this. I didn't want to try to pull it through there. So I just threaded a needle and thread that matched because you have to tuck this up underneath anyhow after you cut it and stitch it. So I just secured this with my needle and thread and uh, and then I snipped it off about this far away and folded it back underneath and tucked it under. And it doesn't even show, it really blends right in with the ruffle. And you do the, um, the same thing on the first end where you started. You have to do the same thing. You have to just you know, cut it off a little, a little bit short, maybe like only to about there, and just tack that up underneath the last ruffle. And it really doesn't show. And this is the one that I'm just finishing up for Shelly. I just have to make it a little bit longer because she wanted a little longer length on this one than the blue one. This was the one that I said was browns and beiges. I don't know if it, you can see it in here, but they're just kind of fun. They're just like a, you know, just a fun little ruffled scarf. And she wanted it a little bit longer. The first one I made was a little, I made it just a little bit shorter. That other thread didn't have as much yarn. It came out to be about like this. So it was just like a little something to wear around your neck. They're just kind of fun. Is that it? 